Folk, the new 2025 Chevy Bel Air just got revealed. Yes, this icon is making a comeback, and it is coming with lots of new things, but this iconic American classic first captured the hearts of driving enthusiasts back in the 1950s with its head-turning style, powerful performance, and good old-fashioned affordability. Can it keep that same appeal in today's market? Well, let's talk about it. Why are they doing this? I mean, remember those sleek, chrome-laden beauties with the iconic tail fins? They were amazing, a masterpiece. The 1957 Bel Air, a true symbol of the post-war car culture that was taking the nation by storm. It was the kind of ride that made you feel like a movie star cruising down the boulevard. So there is no denying that we are all excited and a little worried. Why? Well, Chevy claims this baby's better than ever. They've managed to seamlessly blend the nostalgic elements that made the original so darn irresistible with all the cutting edge design, comfort, and pure driving excitement that modern drivers crave. But is that the case really? Well, there is only one way to find out. So let's get into the details. Exterior design. This is what made the car a true masterpiece. And the 2025 Chevrolet Bel Air has got the perfect blend of retro charm and cutting edge design that'll have you feeling like a classic Hollywood icon behind the wheel. Just take one look at those stunning curves and sleek lines, and you'll be dreaming of cruising down the highway, wind in your hair, and the sun on your face. But this Bel Air isn't just a pretty face. It's packing some serious aerodynamic magic under the hood that'll boost your performance and fuel efficiency. So you can live out those epic epic road trip fantasies without a care in the world. And speaking of lighting up the night, the Bel Air's innovative LED headlights and fog lamps are pure perfection. They not only illuminate your path like a superstar, but they add a fresh modern touch to that timeless classic design. Plus, that roof-mounted antenna, it's like the cherry on top of this automotive masterpiece. But the real engineering genius lies in the Bel Air's aerodynamics. With a sleek body that minimizes drag, you can kiss those annoying gas stops goodbye and focus on enjoying the ride. Who needs to stop for fuel when you can just keep on cruising? And the style, oh the style! With a bold front grille, elegant lines, and a palette of drool-worthy color options, the 2025 Bel Air knows how to turn heads. And if you really want to live life on the edge, those convertible options are an absolute must. Imagine feeling the wind in your hair as you glide along the coast, pure bliss my friends. But the customization options don't stop there. Whether you're craving sleek tinted windows or some killer roof racks for your weekend adventures, the Bel Air's got you covered. And let's not forget about that cutting edge tech, like the adaptive cruise control and driver assistance systems that'll keep you safe in style. But the beauty of the 2025 Chevrolet Bel Air isn't just skin deep. Step inside and you'll find that the magic continues with an interior that's just as impressive. Interior design. The moment you slide into the driver's seat, you'll feel like royalty. We're talking legroom for days, even for you lanky types out there. And the materials? Top notch, my friends. Every inch of this cabin just oozes that high-end vibe that makes every drive feel like a special occasion. But it's not all about looking good. The Bel Air's got your back when it comes to practicality, too. Whether you're packing for a weekend getaway or just making a quick run to the store, the storage solutions in this car are downright genius. Spacious glove compartments, clever cup holders, and door pockets that feel custom made. It's like this ride was designed just for you. And the best part? The Bel Air's got room for the whole crew with seating for up to five. Perfect for family outings or just having all your besties tag along for the ride. Speaking of comfort, the multi-zone climate control is the stuff of dreams. It's like having your own personal weather station so everyone can vibe in their ideal zone. Now let's talk about tech. The Bel Air's infotainment system is the stuff dreams are made of. Slick, user-friendly, and packed with all the connectivity you crave. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Premium Audio, this ride's got it all. And with the built-in navigation and voice recognition, you can just sit back and let the Bel Air work its GPS-powered magic. But the real MVP? Bel Air's advanced driver assistance systems, blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, it's like having your own personal co-pilot, keeping you safe and sound no matter what the road throws your way. Parallel parking? No sweat, thanks to those rear and surround view camera. And let's not forget the luxury touches that make this Bel Air feel like a dream. Heated and cooled seats, premium materials, and even an optional rear entertainment system for the kiddos, this ride's got sophistication on lock. 
But the Chevrolet Bel Air wasn't just about looking good and feeling comfortable, right? Under the hood, it had some serious heat. What about the new version? How capable is this thing really? Let's start with looking at the engine line up, because you've got lots of choices, so let's dissect them one by one. The base model comes equipped with a solid 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine that puts out around 250 horsepower and 260 lb-ft of torque. But if you're the type who likes to feel the fast wind in your hair, the available 3.6 liter V6 is where it's at. We're talking a jaw-dropping 335 horsepower. Both engines are made into a smooth shifting 10-speed automatic transmission, so you can expect effortless acceleration that'll have you gliding down the highway like a pro. Now, don't think this Bel Air is all about brute force. This ride is all about versatility too. Opt for the sport mode and performance package, and you'll be carving corners like a race car driver. Plus, with the available all-wheel drive AWD or four-wheel drive 4WD options, you can tackle everything from city streets to rugged trails without breaking a sweat. But wait, there's more. The 2025 Bel Air isn't just about the thrills, it's got brains too. The four-cylinder model is estimated to deliver a fantastic 28 mpg in the city and 34 mpg on the highway so you can spend more time behind the wheel and less time at the pump and even the v6 gets a respectable 22 mpg city and 30 mpg highway who says you can't have it all speaking of having it all the bel air is also ahead of the curve when it comes to fuel options with its flex fuel capabilities you can choose between traditional gasoline or alternative fuels not only reducing emissions but giving you the freedom to adapt based on what's available pretty slick if you ask me. But it's not just about the power and efficiency. This Bel Air can handle like a dream too. Thanks to its finely tuned suspension and smart traction control, it corners like it's on rails, delivering spot on steering and stability. And with the electronic stability control ESC system, you'll feel confident taking on even the trickiest of situations. And for all you adventure junkies out there, the Bel Air's got your back on those steep hills too. With hill start assist and hill descent control, you can tackle any incline like a pro, no matter what mother nature throws your way. Now that we've seen the impressive performance, let's shift gears and explore the robust frame that supports all this power. Because let's face it, is as important, if not more, than the powertrain itself. Platform this Bel Air is riding on Chevrolet's adaptable A2XX platform, the same solid foundation that supports a whole range of their models. So you know you're getting a ride that's not only lively and responsive, but built to last. It's like having the reliability of a Clydesdale horse with the agility of a race horse. The perfect blend, if you ask me. And speaking of build quality, this Bel Air is no slouch. With a body made from high strength steel, it's practically indestructible. No more worrying about the daily grind taking a toll on your ride. Nope, the 2025 Bel Air is built to stand the test of time thanks to that meticulous craftsmanship Chevy is known for. It's the kind of car that'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, knowing you're driving a real tank. But it's not just about durability, the Bel Air's got the moves to match. That suspension system is smoother than a buttered biscuit, gliding over bumps and potholes with ease. And the ground clearance? It's the perfect sweet spot. High enough to handle the urban jungle, but low enough to keep that sleek, sophisticated look. Off-road adventures? Sure, it might not be tackling mountain trails, but it'll transition from city streets to scenic country roads like a boss. And let's not forget about that optional adaptive suspension system. Talk about versatility. This baby can adjust its dampers to suit the road conditions, so you can ride in style no matter where the open road takes you. Plus, with that generous trunk space, you can pack up all your gear and hit the road for a spontaneous weekend getaway. Who needs a truck when you've got the Bel Air, am I right? Oh, and get this, the 2025 Bel Air even comes with a tow hitch receiver. That's right, folks. You can haul up to 3,500 pounds, so your camp trips or bike rack adventures are about to get a whole lot more exciting. Talk about functionality and good looks all rolled into one. But the big deal, Chevy's reputation for reliability. With a solid maintenance schedule backing up this beauty, you can rest easy knowing the 2025 Bel Air is built to go the distance. No more worrying about breakdowns or costly repairs, this ride is here to stay. Which brings us to the next topic, sign in. Price and resale. Let's talk about the price tags, shall we? 
The 2025 Bel Air is coming in at a pretty sweet spot, with the base model kicking things off at around $30,000. That's pretty darn competitive in the midsize sedan market, my friends. And if you're looking to really treat yourself, the top tier Premier trim maxes out at about $40,000. Talk about value. But it's not just the price that's got us swooning. The Bel Air is offering up three fabulous trims to choose from, Base, Sport, and Premiere. The Base model gives you all the essentials, like a killer infotainment system and room for the whole crew. If you're craving a bit more pizzazz, the Sport trim is where it's at, with sporty performance upgrades and sleek design touches. And for those who want the full red carpet treatment, the Premiere trim is loaded with plush leather interiors and advanced safety tech. No matter your vibe, the 2025 Bel Air's got a little something special for everyone. Now, let's talk resale value, a big factor for any savvy car buyer. And let me tell you, the 2025 Bel Air is absolutely crushing it in this department. With a projected resale value retention rate of around 60% after three years, it's sitting way above the midsize sedan average. That's all thanks to Chevrolet's killer reputation and the Bel Air's perfect blend of nostalgic charm and modern flair. But the real cherry on top, the warranty cover with a three-year 36,000 mile limited warranty and a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, the 2025 Bel Air's got your back. And if you really want to go the extra mile, Chevy's got some sweet extended service plans that'll help you keep this beauty running like new for years to come. Talk about peace of mind, but enough about the numbers, now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The challenges facing the 2025 Chevrolet Bel Air as it makes its highly anticipated return to the automotive scene. Because while this classic beauty may have the looks and the performance to turn heads, it's not going to be an easy ride. Let me elaborate challenges and drawbacks and first off there's the expectations game you see this ain't just any old car it's a revived legend carrying the weight of its storied past on its shoulders longtime bel air fanatics are going to expect nothing less than pure unadulterated nostalgia while the modern buyer is going to want all the latest tech efficiency and safety features chevrolet's got to find a way to satisfy both crowds without losing sight of what made the bel air so special in the first place and the technology game? That's a whole other beast. Gotta make sure that killer infotainment system and suite of safety features can keep up with the competition. Because let's be real, today's buyers want their cars to be just as connected and high tech as their smartphones. Oh, and let's not forget about that price tag. Starting around 40 k the Bel Air's positioning itself as a premium offering, but in a segment where buyers are more price sensitive, Chevy's gotta make darn sure this thing delivers enough bang for your buck to justify that hefty sticker. And there's the matter of that legendary Chevy brand and the Bel Air's own storied past. I mean, this car's got a reputation to uphold, and it's gotta prove it can still hold its own in today's cutthroat automotive landscape. No pressure, right? And last but not least, we've got to address the elephant in the room, the competition. I'm talking heavy hitters like the Ford Mustang, Dodge Charger, and Toyota Camry, all of which have built up a loyal following over the years. These cars are icons in their own right, known for their sheer power, aggressive styling, or rock-solid reliability, so the Bel Air is going to have to really step up its game to stand out from the crowd. So. How does the Bel Air stack up against the competition? Well, let me tell you, this car's got the goods to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. Whether you're looking for pure driving thrills or a well-rounded daily driver, the Bel Air has the chops to deliver maybe even better than its rival. Let me tell you how, starting with the Ford Mustang. Let's start with what's under the hood, shall we? The Mustang's got a range of powerful engine options, including a turbocharged four-cylinder and some seriously beefy V8s. In fact, the top-of-the-line GT model is pumping out a jaw-dropping 486 horsepower. And with a 060 MPH time of just 4.6 seconds, you can bet this baby's got the acceleration to match. But it's not just about raw power. The Mustang's chassis is dialed in to deliver responsive sport-tuned handling that'll have you grinning from ear to ear. Whether you're carving up the canyons or just cruising down the highway, this ride strikes the perfect balance between comfort and pure exhilaration. The Mustang's dashboard is a high-tech wonderland with a 12.4-inch digital instrument cluster and a massive 13.2-inch touchscreen that runs Ford's user-friendly SYNC 4 system. Now let's talk about the flip side of the 
coin, the 2024 Ford Mustang. Sure, this iconic pony car is all about performance and adrenaline, but it might not be the most practical choice for your everyday driving needs. Let me tell you why. The interior space, or should I say the lack thereof. Those back seats are pretty cramped in the trunk. Yeah, it's not exactly cavernous. So if you're planning on hauling around the whole family or loading up for a big road trip, the Mustang might not be the way to go. Now looking on the plus side, you've got that incredible engine performance across the entire lineup, plus the tech features that are easy to use. But the fuel economy can be a bit thirsty, especially with the V8 models and all those desirable options can really send the price tag skyrocketing. And speaking of the interior, while the Mustang's cabin is designed with the driver in mind, it just doesn't have that same level of luxury and refinement as the 2025 Chevrolet Bel Air. The materials can feel a bit on the cheaper side, and the ride quality, while sporty, might be a tad too stiff for those long, comfortable cruises. Now, don't get me wrong, the Mustang is still an absolute blast to drive. That powerful engine and nimble handling make for one heck of a thrill ride. But if you're looking for a car that's going to coddle you in comfort while still delivering delivering an engaging driving experience, the Bel Air might just be the better choice. It's all about finding the right balance between performance and practicality. You know, the Mustang is the ultimate adrenaline junkie's dream, but the Bel Air offers a more well-rounded package that caters to a wider range of needs and preferences. So, if you're the type who values having ample space in a luxurious, comfortable cabin over pure, unbridled excitement, the Mustang might not be the ride for you, but hey, there's no shame in prioritizing practicality over pure, unadulterated power, right? It's all about finding the car that fits your lifestyle and driving style best. So let's move on with the comparisons. Dodge Charger. Again, this is some seriously powerful car, so let's start with the engine option, shall we? You've got your base 3.6 liter V6, putting out a respectable 292 horsepower, but the real showstopper is the Hellcat variant. We're talking a massive 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that cranks out an insane 797 horsepower. Strap in, because this thing is gonna rocket you to 60 MPA in a blur. Now, the Charger's rear-wheel drive setup and finely tuned suspension make for some seriously engaging handling. The ride is on the firmer side, but it's got that perfect balance of comfort and performance. And that 8-speed automatic transmission, smooth as silk, delivering lightning-fast shifts that'll have you grinning from ear to ear. Now, let's talk about the cons of the 2023 Dodge Charger, shall we? Because while this muscle car is an absolute thrill to drive, it's not exactly perfect, you know? First up, the fuel efficiency. Let's be real, the Charger is not exactly the poster child for green driving. With those beefy V8 engines, especially the monstrous Hellcat, you can pretty much kiss your gas mileage goodbye. But hey, when you've got that kind of raw power at your fingertips, who really cares about a few extra trips to the pump, right? And, and then there's the design. Sure, the Charger Charger's aggressive, muscular styling is an absolute head turner, but it might not be everyone's cup of tea. If you're the kind of person who's got a soft spot for vintage flair and classic good looks, the 2025 Chevrolet Bel Air might just steal your heart a little more. Don't get me wrong, the Charger is still one heck of a machine. That thundering exhaust note and brutal acceleration are enough to get any gearhead's blood pumping, but sometimes you've just gotta embrace your inner retro-loving soul. So if you're the type who's willing to sacrifice a few MPGs and a a touch of old school charm in exchange for sheer unadulterated driving excitement, the Charger might just be the ride of your dreams. But if you're after a little more vintage appeal and a more balanced approach, the Bel Air could be the one that really revs your engine. Either way, these two automotive icons are sure to turn heads wherever you go. It's a tough choice, my friends, but one thing's for sure, you can't go wrong. So let's move on to the last, but not least, Toyota Camry. And now I know I have said the Bel Air is a well-rounded car, but but the Toyota Camry has been the go-to choice for things like this in the modern day for quite some time now. And it does it with ease. Just look at that killer hybrid powertrain. We're talking up to 232 horses of pure electrified power. And get this, it's now the only option in the Camry lineup, which means you can get it on the base model. So if you're looking to save the planet and your wallet without sacrificing performance, this bad boy's got you covered. 
but don't think they just slapped on some eco-friendly tech and called it a day. Nope, the 2025 Camry's got a fresh, aggressive look that's sure to turn heads. We're talking bold grills, sleek LED lighting, the works. And step inside and you'll be greeted by a spacious, luxurious cabin that's loaded with all the latest tech, from that massive 12.3-inch touchscreen to seamless wireless smartphone integration. Now, I know what you're thinking, but what about fuel efficiency? Well, my friend, the Camry's got that on lock, too. We're talking impressive EPA ratings that'll have you pumping the brakes less and enjoying the ride more. Of course, no car is perfect, and the 2025 Camry does have a few quirks. That engine can get a little coarse when you really put the pedal down, and the front seats could use a bit more support. And let's be honest here, the 2025 Toyota Camry isn't exactly setting the world on fire with excitement. Am I right? I mean, sure, it's got all the practical goodies like efficiency, safety, and comfort, but let's be real, it's about as thrilling as watching paint dry. Don't get me wrong, the Camry is a solid, reliable ride but it just lacks that certain wow factor, you know? It's like the automotive equivalent of a beige sweater. Reliable, sure, but where's the pizzazz? The personality, that nostalgic head-turning appeal that makes you want to hop in and hit the open road. Enter the 2025 Chevrolet Bel Air. Now, this baby's got the kind of vibe that'll have you feeling like you are the king of the streets. With its retro-inspired good looks and powerful performance options, the Bel Air is the antidote to the Camry's bland persona. This is the car for the driver who wants to turn heads and make a statement, not just get from A to B. So if you're looking to shake up your daily routine and inject a little more passion into your driving experience, I'd strongly recommend giving the Bel Air a spin. Just be prepared to have all eyes on you when you pull up to the curb, because this car is anything but bland. <laughs> and let's be honest, isn't that what driving should be all about? Not just getting from point A to point B, but feeling the thrill of the ride, the excitement of the open road. With the Bel Air, you can have that in spades. While with the Camry, well, it's just kinda there, you know? But before you make your final judgment, there is one car that you definitely should know about, and that is the Ford Torino Cobra. Yep, that legend is coming into the market. And the crazy thing, you can almost get what the Bel Air offers, and a little bit more on the side, too. I mean, I can go on and on about this car. That is why we made a separate video dedicated to it. So thanks for finishing this video and go watch that one right now.